Is that the gentle pitter-patter of footsteps I hear? Oh, my love, I would recognize the sound of you approaching anywhere. <laughs> Three visits in such a short spate of time. <laughs> Careful were my brother to find out he might get jealous. Of course, we would hate that, wouldn't we? After all, were he to find out he might just lock you down here with me. Although I have the suspicion that might cause the opposite of the effect he desired. <laughs> the monstrous little half-breed thought he could keep us separated through walls of stone and bars of iron. But no. No. He could never do that. Not between you and I. You see, we share something, a connection that goes beyond love, beyond thought, beyond anything that he could possibly understand, although I doubt that monstrous creature could comprehend what we share. <laughs> But you still haven't told him yet, have you? That you know I'm alive, unharmed, watching, waiting for you. <laughs> Not long now. Not long in the slightest. Oh, but my dear, we have gone over this before. There's no need to stand so far from the bars. You were stood so close last time, and... Did you come to any harm? No. So why not just... Stand in the light... Where I might gaze upon you. But the sight of you... Would give me the strength to endure another hundred years in this decrepit place. Come along now, just a touch closer. <laughs> oh, there we. What is that? your forehead. What is that? You've been harmed by something. Something has brought harm to you. No, 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 no. Was it the half-breed? Did he lay a finger upon you? No. A clockwork soldier. Someone sent an assassin. There must be repayment in blood for this. There must be. It is only right. Do you see what I meant? Now, my beloved, that creature, my brother, cannot keep you safe. There's no way he can do so. You need someone, someone that doesn't just wield some fake power derived from the ignorance of others. You 
need someone, which will cause fear at the mention of their name. You understand, don't you? I told you what I was last we spoke, a creature that subsists on the lifeblood of humans, one that does not feed out of necessity like filth vampires, but hunts for sport instead. such as I. I would be anything for you. Hunter. Lover. Attack dog. You know that I can keep you safe. But you already know this, don't you? That's the reason for your visit, is it not? You know that I have sworn my loyalty to you, that I would die before I let you be harmed again. And I know. I know. With every drop of blood in my pure veins, that you want to let me out. So do it. Let me be free. And don't deny, even as I talk about destroying those who would stand against you, ripping their flesh, sinking my teeth into their still beating hearts. You don't feel the slightest shiver down your spine. I've always spoken to that darkness within you. I always have. And you know it as well as I. You know it as well as anyone. And I don't denounce you for your dark impulses. No, no. I applaud. So open this cage. Let me be the weapon for you that I was always meant to be. That's right. You have the key in your hand. Just gently press it into the lock. And slowly, slowly, twist. 
freedom at last. Oh, my dear. You would not believe what this has meant to me. My brother, the Priuscus, and to think we share blood in our veins when his is so tainted. He calls me the monster. <laughs> He's the one with demon's taint running in his blood. Oh, but don't worry. By the time I'm done with him, there won't be a drop of blood left. Let this moor be quick and bloody. <laughs> now, point me in the direction of the half-breed. I think I'm ready for regicide, to place you alone upon the throne, just you. I will always serve you, always and forever. <laughs> <laughs>